Thanks, Katie. I can see that romance is always a priority with you. <clears throat> right now, with the help of my young friends, the Moffats, we're going to conduct our own primetime country Valentine's mix and mate. Now, we've chosen eight single people from our audience. Uh, for, we got them in two groups, men and women. <clears throat> what a concept. I... <laughs> Uh, I'm going to ask uh, these contestants, I'm going to ask them some questions, and if their answer is yes, they'll raise their hand. But we're going to, the, and then the Moffats will decide which couples belong with each other, okay? So, come around with me, boys. Follow up. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Jill from Texas. And you? I'm Tanya from Georgia. And you? I'm Allison from South Carolina. And you? Sonia from Kentucky. Cool. Now, guys, John, where are you from? California. All right. Robert? England. <clears throat> cool. <laughs> Ricky? West Virginia. And Nathan? Kentucky. All right. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to ask some questions. My first question is for the women. If you say yes, raise your hand. If it was your anniversary and your mate wanted to watch a very special sporting event on television, would you let him? <laughs> if the answer is yes, raise your hand. It's unanimous. I think you got some support out there. Okay, guys, your turn. If a mate, if your mate lets you watch a sporting event on television on your anniversary, this is after, you know, you got married, you've been married a year or two, would you get her a special gift as a thank you? Be honest. Three out of four. Bob's going to hold up. Things are different in England. Okay, that's great. Now, here's one for, for all of you. Now, if you dislike your mate's friends, would you pretend that you didn't dislike them? Raise your hand if you would pretend that you didn't dislike him. If you'd pretend you'd like him, yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, I guess not. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. That game show stuff, we should go for that, huh? Now, okay, question number four is uh, everybody, you're going to raise your hand if the answer to this would be the man. Who do you think should be the first one to ask for a date? It's unanimous. Okay. Yep. All right, Mr. Moffat, gentlemen, have you uh, come up with some couples over there? Confer amongst yourselves. You got some? Okay, if you got, take one couple here, put them together. Take the, take the girl and put her down with the guy. You first. I think this young lady named Jill should go over with Robert here. Okay. All right, now, one of you guys, Clint, take one of the guys and put them with a girl. I think Allison. Okay, take a girl with a guy then. Allison, let's go with Ricky. Okay. All right, so now who's Nathan? Somebody got to bring Nathan up to one of these young ladies. And I guess you're I... making the final decision here. So why don't you both go grab him up? Okay? So I think this one Well, now, take, bring, the guy, bring the guys up to the girls. That's her. But he's taking her off with himself. <laughs> Scott, you're not old enough. <laughs> All right. Let's thank the Moffats for the wonderful job they did. Look at this. They put them together. It's a nice looking group. And they're going to get something special from Primetime Country. A hat for the guys, a t-shirt for the girls. Y'all can share. We'd like to thank them all for being great sports and helping us out with our Valentine's Mix and Mate. We'll be right back. But first, we want to tell you that Primetime Country is sponsored in part by McCormick Bag and Season. You know what that is? It's a seasoning that it's, it's perfect for perfectly tender, perfectly seasoned meats every single time. They say that. McCormick Bag and Season. We'll be right back.